Procreate Crafters! If you want to learn how to add your very own watermark to your Procreate art, stay tuned! Hello you guys! It's Portia here with Mommy's a Crafter and I am doing my first Procreate tutorial with the iPad Pro and the Apple Pencil. So today I just wanted to do a quick tutorial on how to make and apply um, your own watermark for your artwork that you're doing on Procreate. So um, to start off, I'm just gonna start with um, a new canvas and it's screen size. I really hope that you can see my screen okay. Um, this is, like I said, my first tutorial, so I am gonna try to make it um, I'm trying to, I tried to get somewhere here where I had good light, but I'm also trying to make sure that you can see what's going on on my screen, obviously. So today we are using the 9.7 inch iPad Pro and the iPad Pencil. iPad Pencil. Sure, whatever that is. <laughs> the Apple Pencil. And I am obviously using the Procreate app. So today, um, hopefully we'll go smoothly and we can get through this together. <laughs> so, okay, to start, I'm gonna be using this flat brush um, that I got off of Creative Market. I will put the link in the description below um, so that you can find it. I think I paid $3 for it, um, and it's for personal use. Um, so if you wanted to use it commercially, you would have to purchase the commercial license from there. Um, so we're gonna start out with something simple. Um, I'm just gonna write out my, um, the name of my business, I guess, which is Mommy's a Crafter. And um, if you're following along, you would want to get ready to write what you're gonna write. Um, so I'm just on a blank layer here, first layer, and you're gonna letter out what you're wanting to uh, turn into a watermark. Just make it like Let's see what my streamlines out. Oh, it's up all the way. Okay. the way mommy's is written but uh, for the sake of the video we'll just go with it okay so here we are we have this now after um, if you need to pause you can go ahead and pause the video um, but after you've gotten everything how you like it um, and I just use black um, I do have a white version too so when I did my white version I changed my background color to black and then I changed my brush color to white um, and that way uh, I'd be able to see what I was doing, obviously. Um, okay, so now that we're done, we're going to go in here and we're going to click on... Um, the, well, we're not going to click it because that, that lets us change the color. We're going to turn off our background. Okay, so now you see how it's... I can see all these little grid lines in the back. Instead of having um, my background color here, it's going to disappear and make everything basically see-through. So once I've done that... I'm going to go in here to my little gear icon. I'm going to click on share and I'm going to save this as a PNG. Now what I do is I just save it to my images, um, like my camera roll. And then we're going to go in and use another app. And this one is, 
called Watermark. Let me try to pull it up for you in the App Store so that I can um, give you the correct name. Okay, it's called Watermark Photo at Copyright, and it is a free app. There are in-app purchases, but I just use it for the free uh, component. So, once we have saved our little logo here that we wrote out to our camera roll, we're going to go into um, the Watermark app. Typically, a pop-up pop -ups here, pops up here and asks if you, you want to buy a subscription. Um, I would just click the X. We're going to click on Watermark Your Photo. Now, first, we're going to click the artwork that we want to watermark. So, I recently actually just made this lettering project. Uh, it says Texas Strong. Oh, that already has a watermark on it. Let's go to a different one. Let's go to the one that does not have a watermark. That's another thing. After you save it into, um, after you save it when you're done putting your watermark on it, it actually saves another version of it. So you'll always have that version that doesn't have a watermark. If you'd like to sell the piece um, or print it, frame it, whatever you want to do. Um, and then it'll save the version with the watermark. So from here, we're going to click on the little, um, it's, it says import but it's like, just so you can find it easier, it's like a little square and it's got like a little mountain and a moon or sun in this photo. So we click import and then I chose from gallery. Now typically after I make my logos and I save them as a PNG, I transfer them over into my logo album, but since I didn't do that and yours will probably be, probably be saved on the camera roll, we're gonna go in here to moments or all photos let's go to all photos you're going to click on that work now see how it's completely see-through in the back so that means i can resize it i can go over my whole project if i want to i can change the opacity here at the bottom with this little slider i typically don't like to cover up my work if it's like a photography thing um i will like Put it in an inconvenient place um, so that no one's tempted to just crop out my watermark. Um, and for lettering, I always just put it like somewhere within the artwork. Um, let's just put it right here. Now I mean more of a square because I stacked mine up. My typical watermark is all written out. Mommy's a crafter. Um, but for the sake of this video, I just did a quick one. Um, so we're going to put it there. We're going to change the opacity because I don't want it to take away from my artwork, but I do want people to know who made it and maybe where to find me if they can search me up on Instagram or Facebook or YouTube. So from here, we're going to click save. And when it does save, I'll pull it up in my photos and you will see this tiny little watermark at the bottom. There is a way to get rid of that. One, you can pay to get rid of it. Two, you can leave enough room on your artwork so that um, when they put their watermark or advertising logo on your artwork, it'll be in the very bottom so that you could crop it out. Just like you don't want people doing to your artwork. <laughs> I typically don't though. I just leave it in there. I don't really care. Plus I'm okay with sharing and telling people where, um, what programs I use. So here it is, my little watermark inside my Texas Strong. Um, little lettering project I did. So I hope that um, this was helpful and this is ready. This is like social media ready. You can go ahead and share it and it's got your name on it. No one can take it out. Um, and then, like I said, if you ever wanted to sell your artwork, it's there. Um, you have the un unwatermarked version to sell. All right. Thanks, you guys. Make sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more videos. Thanks.